PDMS bonding using plasma treatment is an essential step in the development of microfluidic devices. Due to its low cost and high versatility, PDMS is used throughout professional and academic laboratories. Plasma treatment activates PDMS, adding reactive silanol groups on the surface. When placed in contact, silanol groups react and form watertight covalent bonds. We will be using the basic plasma cleaner, plasma flow accessory, and economy oxygen service pump. If you plan to use oxygen from a cylinder, please ensure that your vacuum pump is compatible. We will use air plasma, but oxygen from a cylinder could be easily added to this system. We will treat a PDMS microfluidic component in a glass slide at 200 millitor in air plasma for 50 seconds. To begin, you will need a PDMS microfluidic device and you will need a glass slide. The goal of plasma treatment is to form watertight covalent bonds between the PDMS microfluidic device and the glass slide. Place the glass slide in the chamber. Place the PDMS component in the chamber. Turn on the plasma flow device and the plasma cleaner main power. Make sure the three-way valve is pointing down to isolate the chamber. Close the metering valve. In the future, the metering valve can be kept at the same position to achieve the same vacuum pressure consistently. Hold the door closed and turn on the vacuum pump to pump down the chamber. In some models, you may need to turn the vacuum pump on manually. Open the three-way valve to the metering valve. The vacuum pressure will rise momentarily as the ambient air in between these valves is pulled through the chamber. Slowly open the metering valve about one quarter of a turn to allow airflow into the chamber. Switch the RF power to high. You should quickly observe plasma ignition in your chamber. Start timing your plasma treatment when you see the purple glow. While air plasma is a visually intense purple or pink, oxygen plasma is a much less intense blue or white color. We highly recommend using a vacuum gauge during plasma treatment to ensure process consistency. In some cases, oxygen has been found to be more effective for bonding due to a higher concentration of reactive oxygen species. While air plasma is often sufficient for bonding PDMS to glass, oxygen plasma is recommended if you plan to bond PDMS to PDMS or if you plan to use alternative materials. If you are located in an environment prone to daily fluctuations of relative humidity or particulates in your ambient air, you may want to consider dry compressed air or oxygen. After about 50 seconds, turn the RF power off. Turn off the vacuum pump and the main power. Turn the three-way valve to seal the chamber and then slowly vent. Venting too quickly can cause lighter objects, such as the glass slide, to move and break. When removing the PDMS from the plasma cleaner, do not touch the surfaces to be bonded. This can transfer particulates or oil that can block covalent bond from forming. Immediately following plasma treatment, press and hold the PDMS and glass components together for 30 seconds. Be careful not to pull the components apart to adjust the alignment, as this will disrupt bond formation. The increased surface energy produced by plasma treatment tends to reconfigure to a more energetically favorable, lower energy state over time in hydrophobic materials like PDMS. We recommend bonding and any subsequent processes be performed within 15 minutes to an hour of plasma treatment time. In some cases, immersion in a polar fluid can preserve surface hydrophilicity. Additionally, many labs heat the assembled device at around 80 to 100 degrees Celsius for 60 seconds. This can be done with a hot plate or an oven. The high temperature provides activation energy for additional bond formation. 
Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our email address is info at